Yo, what is good with y'all boys, man? Hey, no jokes, no games being played today. We getting straight down to business. By the way, I got like some type of rib pain. So if anybody can help me, anytime I breathe in deeply, it hurts. So if we got any doctors in the, you know what I'm saying? Just, just look me out, bro. But today we got some NBA 2K22 news. It just dropped a little while ago. So I'm just gonna read over it and go over it with you guys. And you can leave your thoughts down below in the comment, bro. I, yo, I feel like an athlete playing with an injury right now. Also, if you wanna read through this stuff by yourself, uh, you can pause the video or you can just check out the link down below in the description. I'll link it down there as well. But let's go ahead and get into it. I promise you I did not type this myself. When I opened up the file that I was sent, it just came in this type of file. So yeah, anyway, NBA 2K22 is about to tip off. We got some exciting news to share with you before it's released. September 10th. So we got an official release date. Didn't know if we already had that, but September 10th is when, you know, the official release date of NBA 2K22. It has been less than one week since we revealed this year. Cover athletes, Luca, uh, uh, KD, Kareem, Candace Parker, and Dirk was all on the covers, you know, uh, all on their respective covers. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this thing. So on the court gameplay, key on the court gameplay improvements are being implemented to give the player not only more control over how they score the ball, but also how they counter those moves on the defensive end. So it's looking like we might have some more dribble moves and we might be able to play better defense, which is also always a W. By the way, I'm reading what I have here and I'm making my own speculations. I don't know anything further than what's on here, okay? So don't take everything I'm saying as facts. I'm just speculating what I think some of this stuff can mean, okay? Uh, that's only the beginning. More impactful gameplay changes will be uh, introduced along with the first NBA 2K22 gameplay reveal trailer coming out later in August. So we got another official release date. Well, not date, but a uh, time frame. Uh, the first gameplay trailer is coming in August next month. Uh, offense, breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, uh, dunking in traffic, and pulling off alley-oops have become more skill based and i think that's what everybody wanted to see i think everybody wanted to see dribble moves get improved uh, uh and then the fact that shooting and, and contact dunks and being able to pull off alley-oops are more skill based that's just let me know that there's gonna maybe some type of timing when it comes to dunking and there may be some type of timing when it comes to getting alley-oops off as well i'm not against that you know what i'm saying more personally i don't really like the layup time and dunk timing but i was gonna bring a skill gap to the game i'm more of all for it, you feel me it's just something else that you're just gonna have to adapt to real players are gonna be able to adapt to those changes and you know what i'm saying be able to keep up anyway a basketball iq and stick skills play an even bigger role and uh separating top offensive players and on defense like i said we want to see defense get better a completely revamped shoot contest a shot contest and blocking system highlight an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game so it's looking like defense is getting a buff hopefully it's not op to the point to where it locks are like back to how it was in like 2k19 to where locks was shooting and locks was blocking you feel me hopefully it's not op i definitely want to see defensive defense change because i want to feel like i'm being rewarded for playing great defense if i get out there and lock a guy up and contest a shot i don't want to see this guy like you know at the last second you know get a shot off and make it over me you know what i'm saying so i'm, I'm definitely having about that uh, seasons across fan favorite experience seasons will allow players to extend and enhance their hoop ambitions along along after the game's launch free for all nba 2k22 gamers and my team my career and the w playstation 5 and xbox so this is like it's next gen console modes it brings more content more rewards and more uh, ways to play and this year seasons will introduce an all new way to level up your my player okay and earn exciting my player prizes in the city so it's looking like and again just speculating that there will be better level rep rewards so hopefully we get better rep rewards you know what i'm saying i'm loving that and it's looking like uh some form of the neighborhood would be back for last gen console so last gen ps4 xbox one switch and pc aren't getting the neighborhood that's only for next gen consoles so uh, yeah, uh, but definitely want to see better rep rewards. I'm taking that as what that may be. Again, just speculating, don't know for sure. So rep rewards look like that might be a W. For all of my team heads out there, my team for NBA 2K22, 
uh, evolves as the ultimate experience for building and competing with your own dream team on day one. But that's not all. My team will continue to expand as the new season drops. Okay, so obviously that means they're going to keep dropping more cards at player, have moments throughout the seasons. We already know that. So Draft, making this long request to return in NBA 2K22, my team. Draft ha has you selecting a, a complete lineup from, hey, I like that. They have like a draft mode, which is cool. And honestly, that would get me to play my team. I'm not even going to lie. I wasn't really interested in playing my team the last couple of years. It had nothing to do with the game. It's just that I can't keep up. You know what I'm saying? If I'm focused on one mode, I can't keep up with my team. Now that they have a draft mode, something I'd definitely be interested in. If y'all want to see content of my team draft mode, let me know. So this is going to be cool. It's pretty much you just pick your players from a pool and compete up against. You know how we used to do packet plays back in the day? It's similar to that. Experience the evolution of my team throughout the NBA and NBA 2K22. New changes, rewards, and events make every season fresh and unique in my team. On top of the many new features debuted in my team on day one, even more additions are coming through the year, okay? Including an original new game mode this holiday season. So they're gonna, hey, bro, what if they bring some type of battle royale type of mode to my team? That'd be crazy, somehow, some way. Cross gen progress and collection. While NBA 2K2 22 will offer two unique basketball experiences across the two console generations, my team progress collection will be transferable between consoles. So it's similar to how it was last year where your progress on ps4 transferred to ps5 so that's cool new city the ps5 and xbox from next gen consoles like i said are getting a new city and the last gen consoles ps4 xbox one uh pc and switch are getting a new neighborhood so you won't see the same neighborhood you saw last year if you're still on the last gen console so that's good news for you as well the biggest online basketball community gets two very different makeovers in nba 2k22 ps5 and xbox series x uh, next year consoles, 2K22 players will step up and hoop in the all new version of the city. PS4, Xbox One, last year consoles pretty much will compete uh, while setting sail for the high seas. What? Setting sail for the high seas. Take your best my player builds and express yourself through both your game and your style. Okay. All right. Let me see. A living, breathing city for next gen consoles. Step into an all new city, teaming up. Uh, T. I guess I mean teaming, teaming up with life, activity, and uh, inter... Yo, I could read. I, pr I promise y'all I could read. Interactivity. NPCs, non-playable characters, uh, populate the fresh city layout. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mess with loading times and server and stuff like that. Having those extra pieces in the background can mess with that. So hopefully the next-gen consoles, I have faith in 2K and in my PS5, you feel me, that we're going to be able to uh, load just fine with all of the NPCs standing around. But anyway, uh, uh, the highest level of the playground basketball, an all-new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while allowing new players to level up and earn rewards and the revisioning of the PS5. Okay, hmm. I'm not sure what that can mean, but... Oh, matchmaking options in the city. The city opens up new and quicker alternatives to get online hoops. My players can enter select matchmaking buildings to be placed into immediate competition. Matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will con con contribute to all my player progress. Now that is cold, bro. That is cold. So now if you want to get some hooping sessions in, you don't have to stand around, wait on the guy next. You want to get straight to it. This is big for like streamers and people like myself, sometimes people see the logo, get discouraged, don't wanna hoop against me, they be running against me, or for top rep players who wanna continue to rep up, you can hop right into those matchmaking servers, get games back to back to back, man, that is huge. All aboard the 2K crew, so this is gonna be for last gen consoles, or PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC platforms, all NBA, uh, NBA 2K gamers will show out and compete in an all new dedicated basketball community, a neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. Wow, exploring hoop and a uh, luxury. I promise y'all I could read. And when the cruise docks an exotic lo location, and when the cruise docks an exotic locales throughout the season, make your way to the excursion. Of, so it seemed like. Again, just speculation. It seems like you're gonna be on the cruise, and then throughout the series of 
the season, you're going to be traveling to different places on that cruise and be able to kind of explore a different neighborhood every time around. So I'm guessing it's going to just change up the way like the seasons did where it was snowing here, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing it's going to change up kind of like that. I don't know. We're going to see more news ahead, more uh, news features, more content away all my players in both city. Okay, so we're going to get more news soon in early September. Remember the game dropped September, what is it, 11? September 11th, oh, September 10th. So, uh, yo, somewhere around between the 1st and 9th, we'll get more news, hopefully earlier than later. Uh, my career, now just for all my My Career heads out there, y'all know I love to play some My Career, so this is for us, you feel me? And NBA 2K22 for PS5 and Xbox Series S, or so the next gen consoles. Uh, and the all new city become one in a groundbreaking narrative experience for NBA 2K. Okay, narrative experience. Okay, so that made me think that it's not going to be a, a actual story, but you're going to be able to build your story throughout the city, throughout the things that you do on the court, off the court. I don't know. We'll see. Embark on your personal journey. So personal journey, again, makes me think that there is not going to be just one story. There's not going to be just one route you take in your My Career uh, story. So that's great for content creators like myself. And it's going to be fun for people that want to play through the game multiple times and multiple builds. You can make different choices and stuff like that. So that's cool. Embark on your personal journey to the pros, a sprawling My Career life by exploring the city, seeing new and familiar faces. So Jackson Ellis and them boys might be back and hoping your way to exciting new heights Players on PS4 and Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and all that last gen will play out the 2K22 narrative and a dedicated, traditional My Career experience. So again, dedicated makes it seem like that's just one thing. Like, all right, this is what you're going to get. But personal journey makes it feel like it's going to... Yo, I like this. I like this. I like this. For next gen console players, man, this is a huge W for us. Last gen console players... It's obviously a huge double for you with new cities. I mean, not new city, new neighborhood. Uh, you get you you don't get the greatest my career experience, but it is something new. So you know, I think we all been waiting for something new all year. Hidden talents for next gen console. Hidden talents, okay. And 2K22 dreams and ambitions and my career stretch beyond the hardwood floors. Players can now pursue. Pers I could read, bro. Chill. Players can now pursue side ventures to build a profile and lucrative and trendy spaces. Brush up against the fashion world. Okay. Y'all already know Juice ain't gonna have no drip, bro. He gonna try to go in the fashion world with jeans and it ain't gonna work like that. <laughs> where, where the art of promotion in, will drive your success as a mogul. Okay, you can be a mogul, all that stuff. Or get involved in the hip hop business where your music talents open up some intriguing lane for in the industry. Okay. Okay, no place like home. This is for next gen again. Moving up in the professional world means expanding your home lifestyle. Send you to your micro narrative, narrative and progress. Your personal hub represents the place and your journey to the NBA as your profile and ambitions level up. So too will your home. So, okay. This makes me think that they're bringing back my courts, which is a huge W. I did not know how much I needed or missed my my court until it was taken away during uh, PS5 this year on 2K21. Having a my court is, is huge. And the fact that they say you can build your profile, it's making me think that you can upgrade your my court some way, somehow. So maybe it's an automatic upgrade as you progress through the season. Or, you know, you finish your first season, you get a new my court. Or, you know, through your business ventures on in the city, which is crazy. You can buy things to upgrade. I don't know. Hopefully, contracts in my career mean something outside of just VC. You can use that cash to do things. That, that would be so cool. That would be great. Uh, more to the journey. My career NBA 2K22 will feature fresh faces and emerging storylines. Storylines. So, again, that makes me feel you know, optimistic about what we're going to be able to do in my career this year. And this year, getting drafted to the NBA is only the start of your basketball narrative. So, that lets me know that cutscenes are going to carry on even pack because you know usually in, in recent years after you make it to the league like the cutscenes are pretty much over so that lets me know that there will be more so uh more information going to be released in september and this this for my nba my my WNBA. so this is like my league and stuff like that your nba 2k22 uh team management is about to be more than just players on the court it's about to be, it's about the professional professional 
that's got professional. See, th that's their fault. I, I'm real, bro. I'm trying to make sense of it. I'm sorry. It's about the professionals that scout them, train them, and coach them. My NBA, my WNBA players can build the winningest franchise by making sure that the staff. Okay. I like the way that the direction that's going to is focusing more on the staff and how the staff plays a part on the team's success. That is all of the news that we got for NBA 2K22. Let me know down below in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10 how excited you are for this next game. Let me know about my readings because, I, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I'm always excited for 2K every year. You know, I try to hold back my excitement, not because I feel like the game is going to be disappointing, just because I hate being too excited too early and then have to wait, wait, wait. So I'm trying to hold back my excitement. But right now on a scale of 1 to 10, I got to say, I'm close to, I'm like, I'm like an 8 and a half, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I'm like an eight and a half when it comes to excitement, just because all of the things that could be possible with my career, all the things that could be possible in the city, all the things that could be possible with my league and just everything in the game, even the new draft mode and my team, bro. It, it, like, bro, the, the, the possibilities right now are endless. Uh, so far, the, 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 the covers for 2K has been a W. Also, these screenshots, I'm going to put these screenshots up here as well. Super fire screenshot. I, I can't even lie, bro. Luca look crazy. Candace, I'm so happy that they show so much love to Candace Parker, putting her on the cover and making her, you know what I'm saying, a part of, and making her character. They, they showed a lot of love and making sure the WNBA players look good too as well. So that is a W, man. I think so far this news was a W. 2K been getting W after W so far. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. 2K has been, been getting W after W. This new cycle so far, I haven't heard anything that I was a little bit iffy on. I'm liking everything I'm seeing. I'm liking everything that I've read here. So I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are excited for the next 2K as well. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Drop a like if this you enjoy this, you know what I'm saying? This helped you out anyway. Go ahead and drop a like. And until next time, man, your boy is out. Yes, sir. Yeah. Got the black hand out of get me through this shit. They shit go over that. I might get these niggas ten percent. I'm a country man, not business man. That shit is off the grid, uh -huh. off the map and shit. Might open up the bag and fucking deal like a bag of chips. You niggas think it crunch time? I'm a deal. No twenty percent. When my shit hit the charts, then it's a hit.